Good morning, everybody. Um, as you can see, it's just gone 5 a.m. in game. Uh, it's very early, very dark. Uh, I've just come out of camp. I'm loaded up with my 10 point crossbow, and we're going to hunt some black bear. Uh, we are in one competition, um, which is a 10 point crossbow competition. Uh, yesterday's moose competition was a bit of a failure. We ended up 27th place. Uh, hopefully we'll do a lot better today. We've also got our bow with us uh, to quietly dispatch anything else that might pop along. Uh, so I'm going to sneak over to uh, the site we set up yesterday and hopefully we'll have some bears waiting for us already. You can see I'm using my sunglasses to brighten things up. Uh, that's the yellow tint. Got a lot of tracks here. This should be interesting. Oh my, that was uh, very close. Quietly dispatched. That was uh, a decent shot. If you can, it's always worth taking the females out just so that they're not uh, there next time you call in a moose. You don't want to get her coming in. Neck bone? I thought I got the head. <laughs> sure is what I know. We were hearing some black tail calls earlier on, which um, were mostly female, so I'm not too concerned with calling in those. I'm going to wait until we get to the site before I start using any of my callers anyway. The only thing I have forgotten is to put on my uh, Outback gear. I'm still wearing the deer hunting army camouflage. But uh, it shouldn't make much of a difference since we're going to be spending most of our time up in a tree stand hunting these bears. It's worth noting that I was having a little trouble with the uh, recording software today, so. Um, if I have trouble again I'll be uh, basically cutting the video and sewing it together so you might get a little bit of confusion over where exactly I am if I randomly teleport to a different place it's because the recording software broke up on me again hopefully that won't happen I'm getting closer now the only downside to where I've put this bait barrel is that it's uphill and going uphill is very difficult for sneaking up my goodness there's a big female there hopefully she'll charge us she's charging us no she's not she stopped she's turned around and she's down Oof, that was uh, close. We could have ended up in big trouble. That was a, a decent shot. 13.18. Puts us in position three. That's not bad. 
going to mess around too much with this because um, we do want to get over to the point. That will do. Now, from what I understand, the uh, bait barrels, they work as, as a law, calling in uh, bears from quite a long distance. However, when you take out a bear near the barrel, like we just did, it resets the uh, radius that it's calling the bears in from, and it will take about 30 minutes for it to reach its max radius again, so there's going to be um, a lull between each bear that we take down basically I don't remember where, ah oh, there we are, there's the tree stand uh, some more bear tracks here, this is good and there's some over there as well, that means that there are at least two more bears in the area uh, the crossbow is, uh, as I said earlier, is not entirely silent but it may very well have spooked uh, other bears that could have been close by. Now what I think I'll do um, as we are hunting in a stand here um, I'm not gonna fast forward the video I'll simply cut it to the point where the next bear is approaching so you don't have to watch you know boring things happen uh, that to me looks like another bear Yep, we've got one over there. A mal of around well, between 150, uh, between 50 to 160. Ready our crossbow. I don't see any others around right now, so this is uh, this is good. Oh, something spooked him. Hopefully that wasn't me. Up in a tree wearing some kind of camouflage and hoping that that wasn't me. I'm sure he'll be back, hopefully from a different angle. This is something I've found with previous hunting uh, on uh, bait barrels and tree stands is that the animals do seem to come in and go out quite a lot they seem to spook nearer the barrel I'm not sure what causes that it, it could just be you know me could be scent I suppose I don't have a uh, wind indicator at the moment so we'll just wait and we'll see what happens with the next one okay we've got a moose uh, calling which is definitely worth bringing in my best to do a silent dispatch with the bow. I'm gonna mark him on the map. Yeah, it's not too bad. Now we will have good camouflage against this guy so he definitely shouldn't see us. Yeah we can see by where the new call is that he is moving towards us. This is good. Look for him, see if we can find him anywhere. Not yet, we need him to get a bit closer.
He's got a steady pace, um, so he should definitely be here soon. I do find it a lot more difficult to hunt early hours of the morning. I, I'm not entirely sure why I always pick it. I think I just assume that, you know, bigger animals will be around earlier. I, there's no logic behind it. I just, I just like going out early. Oh, we've got another bear coming in as well. I'm going to quickly have a check out of him and see if that is the same one as last time. No, this is a bigger female than the male that came by earlier. So she is definitely our priority um, as we are in the competition. So unless this moose appears with massive antlers and you know, something that we really want to kill. I'm likely to be getting that bear. Yep. Time to take her out. <sighs> it looked like it hit shoulder blade to me, but... Hopefully it didn't. Hopefully we get some organs. She's slowing down quickly. That could be a good sign. Hopefully that didn't spook away the moose. We'll give it a call and if he doesn't call back he's likely been spooked. Okay, that's handy. He's not been spooked. There he is. Oh, he's only small, but he's worth taking. This is uh, the start of a glorious hunt. Two bears down, one moose coming in. This is going very well. I've lost him again. I can't see him. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. I see him. I like those antlers, they're not massive, but I like the shape. <sighs> we sent something running there, I don't know what it was. Let's go and claim our kills. You can see the uh, the arrow. You can see how deep that's gone in. That's the the benefit of being this close to an animal. You get a lot more penetration. Yeah, that was perfect. Skull through to the brain and three neck bones. Two neck bones. Let's see if we can pick up the track from the bear that we shot. We've got 10 units of food in here that'll last a whole day. Long heart shot, perfect. No wonder he went down so quick. Or she, rather. It was a female. Definitely got my aim in today compared to yesterday where we kept missing everything. There's definitely another one in the area, although it does look smaller. I 
There she is. Looks like a decent size to me. Fourteen point fifty six. Mission free still. Oh, and again, Steve's doing his favourite trick. No, I'm not having that stupid jaw, come on. Look fierce, not stupid. An avocado, apparently. Yep, yeah. yeah, okay, fine, bear bum, that'll do. Oh. Okay, now these tracks should disappear, there we go. And giant bear shit, lovely. This is probably from the Mao in the area. Although, we have one set of tracks there from that bear. Oh. Now black tail. This is going swimmingly. Make our way back to the tree stand. And call in the deer. I think we picked a good spot for the barrel. Oh, wrong corner. Okay. Um, that could be a second one. I'm not entirely sure if I checked a different track or not, uh, but either way, that's good. We'll definitely have at least one coming in. Yeah, I think we have two coming in here. Both coming from the same direction, which is good. We should be able to pick out the best one. We could be on for a good score with these as they are taking a long time to get to us. I always find that the bigger animals are a lot slower to get to you and they call a lot less. Uh, they're basically just a lot more elusive. You know, some of my best kills have been animals that have called maybe once and taken half hour to get to me. Female. Oh, hello. That's not a female. Seventy to ninety-five. His antlers look okay. I would really like to have seen. There's the other one. Ah, oh, he's tiny. Okay, obvious choice here. take him from here but I'm gonna bring him in a little bit closer okay here we go I'm gonna go for a headshot because it would have been difficult to get a lung shot on the, that animal Bad set of antlers. I'd like to have seen where that arrow went in. Can't see it at all, it must have penetrated very deep. Uh, it looks like that might be it there. Damn, yeah, it 
that's gone right through his body. That was a female call, I'm not too bothered about that. It's a nice score though, 143, it's not too bad. Again. Okay, I'm going to take a short break. So I'll be back uh, instantly through the magic of video.